So, seeing as how I can't do any more GoPro footage in the truck at work, I guess I'll have to uh, show you Arizona by way of the Jeep and other ways. So today, we're doing something mundane. It's Saturday, October 15th, and we are on our, header, uh, on our way to do the grocery shopping. Now, usually mom comes with me, but because it's kind of a stormy day out and she has an electric scooter that she rides around in the store, um, we really don't want to have that out on the back of the car. We kind of have it on a rack behind her car and it's out in the open and don't know how it will handle a rainstorm, if it's good for it or not. So I'm going by myself today. she comes with me but today it's better to just do it this way and there is storms around there's a severe thunderstorm warning for part of the county I don't know exactly where uh, we had a couple of rounds of storms this morning already as you can see we're gonna splash through this water here and there's more storms coming up from the south it's supposed to be a stormy afternoon and evening so rather than take a chance on damaging that scooter with a severe thunderstorm and it getting wet. I'll go myself, but I'll show you some of the scenery on my way over to the grocery store here. We're driving in Sun City, Arizona, coming up on 99th Avenue here. And we'll take this over to 91st Avenue and that'll take us up to Union Hills Drive and then, and then we'll, that'll get us to the store. But I want to show you some of the beauty of Arizona but I can't do it in the truck anymore so we'll do it this way. You see the palm trees and the saguaro cacti in the landscaping. And once we get out of Sun City um, the landscaping will change a little bit and the housing styles will change a little bit. Um, this was built in the 1970s, has more of a Midwest type flair with the ranch houses and uh, brick exteriors, but a lot of the newer construction out here is stucco and it has more of a southwestern look to it. You see the dark clouds ahead of us. It's like I said, there's storms coming up from Casa Grande right now. They may hit more of the East Valley, so we may miss uh, this round, but there'll be more later. It's getting breezy though. You see that flag blowing there hear it in the Jeep too. And it must be raining toward the east somewhere because there's mountains out there that we should be able to see but can't really see them. So somebody between here and those mountains is getting some rain. So now here we are at 91st Avenue. not in Sun City anymore we're in Peoria so now the landscaping has changed a little bit you can see the tile roofs on these houses um, there's usually not houses built right on the main roads um, in neighborhoods on each side of the main road you can see their red and orange tiled houses their roofs on the houses It's so unique out here. It's different from the rest of the country in, in, in the way things look and the landscaping and the different trees, the palm trees and um, desert bushes. So it's partly 
slightly cloudy here, but to the east side, that's where the rain looks to be at the moment. But we will get more. Well, I kind of figured we were going to get this light red, and I turned the curve there and saw it was green. I figured it would be red. And this is Bell Road. This is one of the major majors up here in the Northwest Valley. You can see all the traffic. <clears throat> now this stretch of road here is a lot of the car dealers up here in Peoria. Liberty Buick. Jeep dealer that we just went by. W dealer there. Nice Jeep. That one's higher than mine. I can tell they put a lift on that thing and upsized the tires. what I eventually want to do to this. I'll lift it, upsize things a little bit. Now we're at Union Hills and make a right here. Another Jeep. See the dark skies ahead of us. Like I said, somebody to the east of us is getting a storm right now. And we're getting all the red lights today for some reason. There we go. Try and time it so that I didn't have to actually come to a complete stop. Yeah, the breeze is really picking up. Sometimes these storms create an outflow and it gets very windy and that's how we get our dust storms. And we won't get a dust storm today because it had already rained this morning so all the ground is wet. But if it had been dry for a few days and the uh, wind picks up the dust and you get a dust storm or as they call them, haboobs. And it's like driving in the fog but it's dust instead of fog. So it's not typical Arizona sunny day. We've got a storm that's coming in off the, the Pacific coast and that's why we're getting this stormy weather. So we are here, and of course we are not going to film inside the uh, store, but you gotta restock the refrigerator in the pantry, so one of those things you gotta do every week, so that's what we're gonna do, and then we'll maybe talk to you on the way back home, or later on when we go out to dinner. 
have to see if I can find some parking up this row here. Yes, I can. One just left, so we got ourselves a good spot right here. All right, we'll talk to you later. Okay, so while we were in the store, it let loose. I could hear the thunder while we were in there, and at times I could hear the rain hitting the uh, roof. Uh, don't know how much rain we actually got, but it kind of stopped now. But it let loose while we were in there shopping. So now we're heading home. You can see how dark it is up there to the north. That's what uh, rolled through here. And when I looked at radar, it looked like it was pretty intense. All right, so we're heading back to the store. And as you saw, I lost GoPro footage. The battery died. I forgot to charge it up. I didn't think I was going to use it today and then decided to bring it out. So, uh, battery died when I was leaving the grocery store, but we got one heck of a storm, I guess, while we were in there, because uh, I'm on the freeway now, and it's wet, and there was an accident back there, and sit through that traffic. But now we're getting off the freeway, we only have to run it for about a mile and a half, and then, uh, we're back down on the city streets, so. But, yeah, everything is kind of, <laughs> there's standing water everywhere right now, and if I had the GoPro on, I could show it to you, but, of course, I used it the last week in the truck and didn't charge it up and so I didn't have enough juice to uh, finish video in today because I ran such a long clip going up to the store so I guess we're not going to do a big uh, long video today just a little bit that I did uh, boy there's a lot of traffic too um, just that little bit that I did going up there and then a little bit afterwards and now what I can do with the phone here, doing the selfie shot, because I don't have any more battery in the GoPro. So, but yeah, it must have been quite a storm. Uh, there's water everywhere, but now you see over my shoulder there, blue skies, and the sun is actually out, but another storm had rolled through, so that's the third one already today. And there's supposed to be more tonight and tomorrow. Uh, so it's gonna be a wet and rainy kind of a weekend this weekend. Well, I better get gas, but I'm going to have to come back out later for it because i got cold groceries in the uh, Jeep right now. So, all right, we will talk to you later. Well, I found out that the uh, phone will stand up on the dash if I don't drive real fast or real crazy, so I don't have the GoPro, but I uh, put the phone up on the dash, and that's doing a nice job by itself. So we will get to see some of the water. Uh, drove through some standing water a little ways back. And you can see this street's pretty wet. Uh, no standing water yet. But when I turn up the next one, we're probably going to see some flooding. Once I get there, everybody's driving real slow today. Now we got some... We got some flowing water here coming out of the neighborhood. Holy smokes. Oh, come on. So, of course, when I went into that dip, now the foam fell. There we go. Got it back up. But it's just sitting on my dashboard here. And uh, as long as I'm on the level, if we turn this corner, <laughs> you're going to see some water. Yeah, all those dark clouds up there is the storm that rolled through. I told you on the way up here we would have a storm. A Jeep is good at going through water, so I shouldn't have any problem, but I gotta turn the wipers on. <laughs> wow, this is deep. Deeper than usual. I guess I'll slow down so you, at least you can see it. <laughs> Not only is it over the curb, up on the sidewalk and in people's driveways. about the worst I've seen it out here.
Holy moly, did it rain. I knew that one was going to be bad. That one always floods when you get a good rain out here.